All right, now here is an exciting update we have received on Samsung's One Hand Operation Plus application, which is a must have app for all the Samsung Galaxy phone users. Now, most of us know about this application, and this is an incredible app which enables us to use the phone or a tablet in just one hand. We can use multiple swipe gestures from the edge of the screen to execute some specific functions. We have already seen a bunch of videos about this application on the channel, so let's dive in and see what has really changed, what has improved with this all new update. As you can see, the version number here is 6.3.21.0 we have got a big list of change log here as you can see there are at least about five to six changes which we will discuss in this video but before we go ahead if you are new on the channel and if you'd like to know your phone better be sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you find this video informational now let's go ahead let's have a look at these changes the first one says integration of hide handles settings in advanced settings now let's open this application let me show you where exactly we have got this all new settings as you can see we have have a turn on off toggle for one hand operation plus then we have got left handle right handle then we have advanced settings let me tap on advanced settings as you can see at the bottom we have got hide handles options we have got four toggles under hide handle by enabling these toggle we can completely hide or disable these gestures on landscape mode quick panel lock screen or home screen now let me just demo this for you uh, let's go to the home screen and see whether the one hand operation plus swipe gestures are active as you can see we, i have got all these swipe gestures active on the home screen now what i'll do is i'll go back to the settings and i will enable this toggle for home screen under hide handle now let's go back again on the home screen as you can see now i can only swipe through these home pages i can't use one hand operation plus on the home screen likewise you can enable this for lock screen quick panel and landscape mode this is a very useful feature which has been added now just in case if you don't want these swipe gestures or this one hand operation plus to work on specific areas you can enable these toggles that's the first one we have the second feature is added widget page looping option for widget pop-up now we have got this all new option called widget pop-up let me open the app let me open left handle here now under long swipe for straight right i have already selected widgets pop-up view let me open this now you see i have selected widget pop-up from the list of swipe actions and for widget pop-up we have got the settings icon right here i will tap on this you see this all new toggle widget page looping loop back to the first page after scrolling past the last page of a widget let's enable this let me show you widget pop-up here. When I swipe from the left side of the screen and hold it, the widget pop-up opens up because I have set it for left handle swipe and hold. As you can see, this is a widget pop-up. Uh, I have set four different pages here with different widgets. Now here we have the page looping. As you can see, when I go to the last page and swipe again, it goes back to the first page. And from the first page, we can directly go to the last page of widget pop-up window. This is widget page looping option. Now let's go to the third one. It says modified to switch to full screen when repeating the split screen function, which means when we have set a split screen function for any of these handles, we can repeat the same swipe gesture to get back to the full screen while you are on split screen view. Let me show you how it works. Let me open the app and let me open right handle. Uh, let me just select diagonal down here. Uh, here I will select split screen option for diagonal down. Now, when I swipe diagonally down from the right edge of the screen, I can access the split screen. As you can see, I will just swipe down from the right. It opens up in split screen view. Now with this update, when I again swipe diagonally down from the right side, it switches back to the full screen view. That is pretty handy feature that we have got with this all new update. Again, let me go back to the split screen view. We can open any application here at the bottom. And to go back to the full screen view, I can again do the same gesture from the right side. It switches back to the full screen view. Next one is disable when photo is in edit mode in gallery application, which means if you are editing any pictures in the gallery application, the one hand operation plus will not be activated. Let me show you that. Let me open gallery and open an image here as you can see even when we are on the image i can use one hand operation plus functions here but when we get into the editing mode of this image we can only use the default back gestures as you can see one hand operation plus is not active here that's another change we have got apart from these five new features or changes we've got some bug fixes as well it says fixed a problem when connecting android auto fixed a problem when clicking media icon consecutively in quick tools and other stability improvements as well this is a fantastic update we have got for one hand operation plus after a long time if you haven't checked this application yet being a samsung galaxy user i think you are missing a lot so you have to go ahead and hit the link in the description to download this application and start using it on samsung galaxy phones 
that's all I want to share with you guys. If you like this update and if you have anything to share, do go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section and hit the like button and subscribe button to support the channel. That's all I have here. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.